without any undue delay. Uh, our first speaker for the day is uh, Mr. Dean Dayalan Saker. And he is basically, uh, he has 20, more than 20 years of experience in leading the medical informatics and health information department. And uh, across various geographies uh, in UAE and where India as well. And he is presently uh, handling, he's the lead at uh, Prime Healthcare Group LLC UAE as uh, the head of medical informatics since 2014. He has hands-on experience in managing implementation or upgradation of the HIS and EMR uh, uh, in, in his uh, systems, in his um, uh, in the legacy system in the UAE and India, as well as the health information compliance tracking mechanism, which includes the KPI-based performance evaluations. He's also training lead for all healthcare uh, professionals, including nurses, doctors, and other paraclinicals. He's also been the project lead for Digital Transformation Initiative of Prime Healthcare Group, Centralized Medical Record Storage Division, Referral Program across the Prime Group, Healthcare Group, as well as the Business Process Reengineering to develop the as is process and to be process. Develop the AI, that is Artificial Intelligence Bot, System Checker Tool, Mobile Application, Appointment Booking, WhatsApp Appointment Booking systems in the groups as well. He has several achievements to his name, that is one click, one click access to the treating doctors, one click scan option, developed auto indexing of scanned patient records and auto audit processes. So he is a name to reckon with and uh, over to Mr. Saker for the session. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, Ms. Nadia Street. Thank you so much for the brief introduction. Um, thank you very much for the uh, CAHO members and uh, Bombay, Bombay Hospital Trust uh, leadership and CAHO leadership team for uh, bringing me on board to have uh, the presentation. Let me start uh, overview of medical records. Uh, myself, uh, Dean Dhyalan Sekar, uh, heading the medical informatics division of uh, Prime Healthcare Group. We have uh, 20 medical centers uh, in uh, across, uh, spread out in uh, three Emirates, that is, uh, Dubai, Saja, and Ajman. And we have a hospital in Dubai and uh, one upcoming hospital in uh, Dubai Healthcare City. So our website is uh, www.primehealth.ae where you can uh, find more information about our uh, Prime Healthcare Group. And uh, once again, thank you for the uh, uh, organizers, the organizers uh, for uh, bringing me on board. Uh, quickly uh, to have, it's a small introduction of medical records. Medical record, health record, and medical chart is systemic documentation of a patient's medical history and across across time within one particular healthcare provider's uh, jurisdiction. And in definition, uh, health record is a legal document that should accurately outline the total needs, care of uh, care and management of patients. It facilitates communication, decision-making and evaluation of care in addition to protecting the legal interests of the patient, healthcare professionals and the health facility. The main area is for medical records is uh, storage. Storage is the human fire. Uh, generally is the property of the healthcare providers. The information contained is properly stored in a secured and uh, uh, with access control locations, uh, irrespective of uh, electronic version or it's the uh, manual uh, storage locations. And basic rule of documentation is everyone is aware. Uh, it is, uh, if you didn't write it, it is uh, did not get done. And if it was not written and it was not done, in the recent scenario in the EMR uh, development, we. We can say in a modern uh, phrase, if you did not enter it and it, it, not, it did not get done, and if it was not entered, it assumed that it is not done, it was not performed and it was not done. And purpose of uh, maintaining the medical records, it serves as a mean mainly to identify the patient. That's the primary uh, focus and uh, to justify the treatment and to support the diagnosis, document the patient progress and results of treatment provides continuity of care and serves as a means of communication. And it serves as document to educate medical students, resident physicians, provide data for internal hospital auditing and quality assurance, provide data for medical research, justify third-party payment, support for malpractice litigations and infection control monitoring. And uh, in the uh, term MRN, MRN means it is uh, simple. Uh, it's a medical record number. It is a unique patient identification uh, number, unique identification number of the patient. Uh, here, unique identification number of the patient to elaborate in detail. Now the uh, world is moving forward. Unique, uh, uh, identification, unique medical record number across the uh, uh, state, across the uh, globe, India, like that. The versions are going now. Now the recent scenario, people are thinking in that fashion. Uh, earlier, uh, uh, in the uh, uh, 
uh, earlier days, we have a different uh, medical record numbers for uh, outpatient, that will be a different number for inpatient, will be a different number. But uh, in recent times, it's all cumulatively stored in one patient, we'll have complete A to Z of the complete track history. That's what that is called as medical record number. Maintenance of medical records, as I told you, it should be uh, stored in a very secured area uh, to prevent from unauthorized access. It's a highly confidential document where uh, you can't have uh, this document uh, stored in the, uh, uh, with proper access we need to store, irrespective of whether it's an electronic document or it's a manual uh, physical record. So if it's the electronic document, it's fully uh, secured, uh, uh, controls and everything should be maintained and monitored. Authorized to make entries in the uh, clinical documentations. It is the uh, first priority goes to the medical staff, the nursing staff, hospital administration will come where the billing team uh, scribbles down in their charts and then customer relation officers, PROs in terms of witness signatures, social workers involvement will be there in terms of any organ donations and uh, uh, the uh, NGO activities with the uh, coordination in coordination with the patients and allied healthcare professionals like uh, technicians and uh, uh, professionals, all those allied healthcare professionals, they are authorized to make entries in the uh, medical record files. Here, uh, I'm going to elaborate in a uh, very uh, normal and uh, yeah, systematic, systemic workflow, how the real medical records department, uh, what health information professionals are doing in their department. So I won't take much time, but quickly I'll try to elaborate in a very short way. Where medical records files is get generated in terms of uh, patient registered after registration uh, the patient either go for uh, direct admission or uh, they go for uh, opd consultation in case of uh, it's a unplanned admission as well planned admission record flows irrespective of electronic or manual the record flows from the medical records department so you know, what happens in the uh, admission if the patient is got admitted patient moves to ward in ward all consultation happens uh, icu ward transfers or ot investigation treatment all uh, whatever uh, the uh, scenarios happens in the uh, in these respective locations are timely recorded and timely entered in the uh, physical record as well as the electronic record so that the treatment pattern continues the patient have the very safe discharge at the end then the the entire record comes back to the medical record uh, team uh, medical records team if it's a physical record if it's a uh, electronic record from registration count also records come back to us uh, what happened in medical records, we, we receive the record. When we receive, we'll check for the, uh, whether it's a HIP record or outpatient record. If it's outpatient record, we'll directly do the all uh, data entries. We'll do the preliminary, preliminary audit of uh, each charge, whether if it is uh, appropriately documented, if we call it as a deficiency audit happens, irrespective of outpatient record or inpatient record. But then if it's the inpatient record, we need to arrange the record because if, uh, if it's a manual file which we receive, it will be a cumbersome manner from the ward. It will not be assembled properly. If it's not arranged properly, then uh, it is uh, uh, for reference purpose, uh, it will be very difficult uh, uh, to review by the doctors and the uh, senior professionals. What we do after assembling the record, we do the deficiency checking. For each activity, we have a certain time limit. So the, uh, once deficiency checking is done, it's the preliminary, we do the uh, completeness of the medical records. We will not review the content in the initial stage. So we will do the uh, completeness. In the completeness, if you find any de deficiency in the document, we have a time limit within the time set time limit, we need to clear the documentations. And we need to keep it 100% accurate. Then further, there will be a codification process for inpatients. Nowadays, codification is automated. Uh, in few hospitals, it's directly entered by the clinicians. In some hospitals, it is managed by the medical records team. In some hospitals, it is uh, there is a separate transcription and uh, yeah, coding professionals. They do the uh, medical coding, but in UAE, it is fully automated. It's done by the uh, clinicians. Where uh, at the initial stage of documenting the diagnosis, at every stage, the doctors use the uh, uh, diagnosis entries so based on the ICD-10 CM. It's a universal uh, standard uh, codification standards uh, coding. Then it comes back to the data entries. In data entry, same scrutiny of uh, the scanning activity takes place when the deficiency checking is done. We do the scanning activities. For each and every activities, it is a very cumbersome and we need to be 100% uh, sure that all documents are available. Then it is securely scanned and indexing will be there. Each page will be indexed. There are in scanning activities, we have done a lot of automation things. If we put 100 patient records together in the outpatient scenario, the system will have the capabilities to identify itself and automatically 
it goes to the respective file cabinet like the respective medical record numbers it goes so there are uh, certain uh, uh, technologies we are using that is uh, one primary uh, identification is the barcode and the barcode is there based on the barcode scanning uh, system have capabilities to identify and goes to the respective filing section same uh, if for an inpatient scenario what we do is every page will have the barcode it is called uh, the classification for barcode that is the uh, every page will have their own indexing barcode based on that the ip records if you have one patient record is having 20 uh, near about 100 to 150 images automatically it segregates and goes to the respective uh, uh, sections in the file and stored then there will be a quality uh, checking where the quality team reviews the appropriate uh, appropriately the documents are stored in the uh, system then finally we'll go move it to the uh, uh, server we'll save the entire uh, episode entire records then it will called as normal filing if it's a physical record then after reviewing the scanning the physical record goes for filing and retrieval happens if there is uh, any uh, consultation purpose and any queries queries is the area where uh, we used to have a lot of queries and uh, most of the medical record professionals spend more time on queries like uh, mainly with the doctors queries from the doctors queries from the patients and uh, from uh, other departmental queries and external queries so these queries are nothing but uh, it falls your release of information doctors involved in the research research activities and a patient comes for uh, some uh, 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 same from some report requirements or uh, some uh, uh, referral requirements and uh, other departmental queries for their uh, performance evaluation the data requirements for each and every clinical departments medical record is the source where we can have the can complete uh, uh, volume volume of the uh, patient volumes and patient count details is shared by the medical records team where this data is medically meticulously used for uh, the organizational growth and the uh, self growth as well as the uh, uh, the uh, professional growth purpose also these these data are meticulously used and uh, the external queries is nothing but the uh, uh, medical legal queries from uh, government entities and from court we used a lot of uh, queries and uh, insurance is the major uh, portion where they used to uh, have a lot of queries uh, to from to the, to the medical records team with regards to the patient treatment then uh, what happens is after uh, the entire episode of uh, documentation is completed it goes to the filing then again we issue the records this is the cycle it's the entire uh, cycle of uh, medical records functions where uh, uh, we will uh, issue the record for again follow up consultations the same patient gets admitted the same patient uh, uh, records request for uh, research so it is the uh, perfect cycle example of uh, medical record functions and the record flow the uh, irrespective of electronic or manual uh, physical records and the next important segment is we have a statistics uh, division where uh, the entire hospital statistics uh, performance statistics is monitored and managed by the medical records team and it is directly used by the uh, quality uh, audits like uh, international audits like uh, jci and uh, ACHSI, and uh, we have national audits like nabh and ISO, all these for all these audits, we are the uh, primary source uh, in providing the data and primary source in uh, providing the key performance indicators for each and every department. So it is very uh, uh, health information is completely managed by the medical records uh, professionals across the globe. So then uh, the next classification is the separate segment is medico legal. Uh, uh, aspects it's a very vast uh, subject and uh, here in medical legal uh, we are the uh, we deal as a coordinator we will we'll not go in front we always uh, speak as a, a coordinator between the uh, uh, government entities as well as the uh, the uh, uh, hospital and there is a, another vast area is internal and external audits if any audits happens uh, we are the one we will be in front to share the entire uh, provide access to the records and provide uh, provide physical records for uh, audit purpose audits is basically for uh, improving the documentation and uh, for uh, the insurance team will do the audit for uh, uh, in case of any uh, dispute they comes and they come and they, uh, does the audit so this is the overall uh, flow of uh, medical records uh, work in a very uh, short and uh, short time i try to uh, complete this uh, framework
moving forward, uh, there are basic requirements which I want to highlight here uh, in terms of uh, uh, both electronic and uh, physical document. One is uh, we need to record the course of treatment and handwriting is the one main area still we are uh, finding difficult with the uh, doctors, uh, especially the senior doctors. And it's not the, uh, uh, the legibility is the one area still we are lacking behind. And uh, with regards to the uh, consent form is the one which we, uh, the guideline says it should be written in a capital letter, the diagnosis and the surgery name and the post complications, everything must be written in a capital letter. And uh, medications is the one if you are having the handwritten document, if it's document in a ca capital letter, it'll be a great source of uh, documents. It can be used for any uh, leg legally and uh, the legibility will be uh, far, far better. That was the recommendation I would give in this forum and always use the uh, blue or black permanent ink because if it's written in some other color, it will not be visible when you photocopy or when you scan the document because in the digital environment, each and every papers are scanned. So always recommended to have a blue and black permanent ink color so that it will be visible when you are scanning the documents. And uh, the highest, uh, most, most important is each page of the document must have the uh, uh, logo, name and the uh, patient uh, file number. So this is the one important patient identifiers must be captured in the uh, each and every each and every paper. And the correction is the one as per our uh, is the uh, depends upon the hospital uh, policy and other things. Ideally, it should be a one line and uh, you need to sign it. It should not be like this scribbled uh, is not uh, acceptable. Always it should be readable what has been uh, erased, what has been striken out, strike through will be only one line. So uh, you can have uh, to note error, you can have some identifiers like E and uh, you can sign. Signature is must in this uh, sort of documentations. And documentations must be, it should be uh, right information. We have to be complete and legible. We need to have uh, every patient identification information on each sheet. And uh, the pain score is the one area where uh, missing out irrespective of uh, doctors, nurse, and technician who is handling the patient, they should record the pain score, pain score. And signature and seal, wherever if seal is there, a seal is mandatory in all entries. Whenever there is a signature, that should be a seal. And a date format is the one which should be taken in a very highest consideration. It should be written in a date, month, and year format. Year, it should not written only 23. It should be in the full form, 2023, 2022, or 2020. Uh, sorry I, to intervene, Mr. Zinde Allen. We are running short of time. We can wrap up. I agree, ma'am. I'm going to the uh, maybe another two more slides. That's it. I'll be prepared. Okay. Thank you time. so much. Thank you very much. Time format is uh, 24 hours format. It should be a railway time. It should not be AM, PM because AM, uh, PM, if it'll, it'll be confused if it's written in uh, AM, PM format. So 24 hours format. And sing, as I told you, signature and uh, signature of clinicians and staff is necessary. And uh, wherever there is a entry, there should be an acknowledgement. Signature should be there. And release of information uh, to ensure the patient information is released appropriately as per the government regulations. Unless we have prior informed consent has been given by the patient, no information must be released to the patient. No information can be given over the telephone. If the patient is less than 21 years of age, the parent may give consent for release of information. If patient is mentally, physically is incapable, the guardian must give the consent for release of information. And this is the one important criteria. Wozner files are strictly not to be taken out of the hospital because sometimes uh, doctors, uh, uh, they want to complete the uh, research activity, research purpose, they carry the records, but this is, um, it should not be happened, it should not be entertained by the medical records team itself, because as a medical record profession, we will not uh, issue the records uh, out of our facility. We always uh, uh, give access now, because in recent scenarios, we give access to the uh, electronic version. And uh, original records can be transferred or soft files can be transferred to the hospital for the care purpose with the permission sought from the respective medical director and the hospital administrator. And reports of the patient can be released at the time of consultation uh, upon doctor's approval, it can be received, but acknowledgement needs to be taken. And vision on the next of kin insurance companies, employers who is not of uh, not the staff of a hospital must obtain patient authorization to check the file. That's it, I am uh, done with my uh, presentation. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Uh, this is my contact number and my mail ID is the at live .in. In case of any queries, you can uh, text me and you can uh, email me as well. Thank you so much. Thank you for uh, our members. Thank you for Bombay Hospital team. And thank you for the organizers for uh, uh, giving me an opportunity. Thank you. So